is Purple Daily on Score North and scorenorth.com. Yeah, welcome in to a four question Friday here on Purple Daily, presented by our friends at TCL. Enjoy more of what you love with TCL Daily Vikings Entertainment with the mission statement that says we want the Vikings to win a Super Bowl before we die. All right. It's that simple. So if you ever think we're being too negative or this or that, just know that it's all coming from a place of tough love. It's been 60 years. Mm -hmm. It's time to go. We got to go. I got to go. I got to go. It's go time. Bye bye. (laughs) Go time. Let's do it. All right, boys. You guys ready for four questions that are going to blow your mind, change your lives here? Okay. Let's do it. Phil Mackey, Judd Zolgad, Declan Goff, our executive producer. And let's start with this first one. I mean, it's pretty rare that a guy this talented at a position of obvious need for the Minnesota Vikings (laughs) just becomes available like four weeks before training camp. But question number one is, should the Vikings be interested in the recently released David DeCastro who's been one of the best right guards in the NFL over the past handful of seasons. He's 31 years old, so he's definitely not in his, like, well, he might still be in his prime a little bit, but he's toward the back end of it. Uh, Six-time Pro Bowler, one of the best pass-blocking right guards in the NFL, even currently his run blocking, according to PFF, has been suspect the last couple years, but he's available. Um, He's been to a bunch of Pro Bowls. Vikings have some cap space. And right now, they've got Dakota Dozier as their starting right guard coming out of minicamp. So, should they be interested? And I believe that he had a ankle cleanup surgery before last season, and that might still be impacting him. And so, right. he wouldn't be entirely healthy. But should they sniff around? Absolutely. One, they have, I believe, approximately $13 million in cap space. So, they have room to play with. Um, they clearly could pay him... I would guess a fair salary, but it wouldn't break the bank on a one-year contract. The other thing is, and Phil, you brought this up, and it's the reason why. Um, I understand that there's a long-term plan at the right guard position, but if the short-term plan is really Dakota Dozier and you have the opportunity to get him off your roster to get a veteran who you might feel comfortable starting the first portion of the season, I say you go ahead and do that right now. So should they be interested in this move? Absolutely. Doesn't mean it'll get done, but I would I would at least make the call to potentially get the haul. Exactly. Do you pick up the phone? Do you pick up the phone, Declan? Yes, I do. I pick it up and I say, yeah, David, here's what we're going to do for you. Okay. We know you're coming off ankle surgery. We're just going to give you a one year deal, a little make good contract. You're a six time Pro Bowl. You've made all the money in the world basically over the last uh, six, seven years, and you've been playing in Pittsburgh for a long time. Come in here, take your time with your rehab. No pressure to put you as a starter right away. Let you also be a mentor in that offensive line with Rick Dennison. This is a good move for the I think it would be great. Just sign him to a one-year deal, and if you want to put incentives in there, if he was able to get on the field, great. I, I, I see no harm in throwing him like a bet minimum deal or a couple million bucks uh, to bring him in and to, tr- to try to solidify the line. I don't think it's a bad idea. Yeah, so here's I'm going to read just so just we have the injury update here on him. Um, well, come on, NBCSports.com. Doing the uh, the ad Dude. blocker thing here. It's yeah, ridiculous. They, 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 that can happen. With All right. Former Steelers guard David DeCastro says he's dealt with the bone spurs. Um, I've got to get surgery on my ankle a third time. I tried to fix it last year, but the bone spurs kept coming back. It nagged me pretty bad all year. Got to see how surgery goes. I have no problem calling it a day and moving on with my life if needed. So I'm with, like, here's where I'm at with this. Wyatt Davis can be the starting right guard at the beginning of the season. It's a 17 game season, boys. This is this is all about the long game here. If David DeCastro can't play in Week One, but he feels good, healthy, and available, and he's rehabbing at the luxurious Twin Cities Orthopedic Performance Center, and he doesn't even play until let's say after the bye in like November, I'm fine with that. I mean, it, it would actually yeah. be really interesting to just let him rest up and then bring him in as a second half of the season reinforcement here. Uh, last year, even with ankle problems, okay. Of the, like, 80-some offensive guards that played at least 20% of their team snaps, only five guards had a better pass-blocking grade than David DeCastro across the entire league. 
So mm-hmm. even though he's not going to be able to get out there necessarily and be as effective as a run blocker just based on age, ankle problems, et cetera, right. this dude can still, t- can still take up a ton of space on the interior and hold his own in the pass protection game, which is really the most important thing to protect Cousins. Now, I think the Vikings would argue, yeah, but like if he can't get out and block in the run game, well, that's really the bread and butter of our offense, and that sets up everything else we do. So even still, I mean, Dakota Dozier, I'm going to repeat it, is your starting right guard right now. Out of minicamp, he is number one on the depth chart at right guard. And so if you've got a former you know, six-time Pro Bowl, or even if he's only like 75% of his former self, I'm signing up for that for sure. So, And the opportunity, I think, to just get Dakota Dozier off your roster is really enticing. For us. Apparently not for them. They shouldn't want him why to play, Why is he though. still, like, why is he? I don't know, but they shouldn't want him to play. So whatever you can do, <laughs> uh, e- this guy might not be where he was previously, but anything that you can do that would in any way upgrade the position, whether it be a starter or backup, I think you do it. Yep. Amen. Time time to uh, stop screwing around with Dakota Dozier in any capacity <laughs> on this team. All right, boys. Question number two here, presented by our friends at PXG Minneapolis. Speaking of stopping screwing around, stop screwing around with your golf game. All right? All Playing you uh, weekend hackers out there, why don't you go get some of those PXG clubs at PXG Minneapolis and Southdale Center, the Gen 4 clubs. They've got clubs in every price range, by the way, too. So if Let's say the Gen 4 clubs are maybe a little aggressive for where you're at with your game. The 0 to 11 clubs are available. So, uh, And if you want to, you know, like Declan's got a V-neck on right now. He looked fine, but PXG's got some great apparel to upgrade Mm -hmm. you to. Mm -hmm. So go check them out. PXG Minneapolis and Southdale Center. Find out more at pxg.com. Let it breathe, baby. It's hot. It's warm. You look Mm -hmm. fine is not a ringing endorsement, Declan. It's not a bad endorsement. I'm saying you'd look better in some PXG apparel. Yeah, exactly. I got, no, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I hear I hear loud and clear what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Here's uh, question number two here. So the NFL announced yesterday that they will start to pull back their stingy uniform rules, the no fun police, the no fun league, and they will allow throwback helmets and uniforms in 2022. Yes. So which handful of teams would you guys love to see in an alternate helmet, alternate throwback uniforms? So the, I, I used to say the Chargers, but the Chargers actually have gone back, yeah, gone back more so. It's not it's not exactly identical to the uh, powder blue look, but it's it's towards that. So I'm going to take the Chargers out because I feel like they've done a, a, jo- a good job of going back. Uh, and I'm going to give you these teams. The Broncos. Mm-hmm. With the, with the, yeah, the old, snorting the, horse and the in, the, in the D. Yeah. The Broncos. Yeah. Helmet was great. I don't understand why they don't wear those to this day. It frustrates me beyond belief. The Patriots, Pat it's the Patriot. A, yeah. Frustrates you beyond belief. You just it s- does. sit up they're, late they're, at night thinking about the Broncos. Yes, because their hey, current helmet hey, sucks. Hey, hey, that current stupid uniforms. It's just stupid it is. Nobody, I've always said this, nobody in this league has improved their look by changing it, aside from probably the Bengals, who made their change now 30 years ago. Yeah. So anyway, I, I got the Broncos, Pat the Patriot, again. That was a good the one. Patriots, the Patriots, why? Pat the Patriot's awesome. Um, the Buccaneers, Bucko Bruce. Bucko Bruce. I mean, and that is one of the greatest. I mean, it's bad. It's so bad, it's good, but I love it. So Tom Brady in the Bucko Bruce helmet w- would be perfect. Dude. That's that's three. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not done yet. The Titans need to adopt the Oilers look. Yep, that's that's yep. the only one I that's the only one the I care about. Houston Oilers, mm-hmm. Houston Oilers, and then Love finally those baby blues. And then fi- it's it, some people are going to say this is splitting hairs a little bit, but it's not. The Vikings, the the Vikings throwbacks that they wore with Favre in 2009 and maybe in 2010 as well. I think this is the last time that they wore throwbacks from the 70s yep. are so much superior with the darker purple to the look that they have now. So I'm going Broncos, Patriots, Vikings, Bucks, uh, and and the Titans should adopt the Oilers. See, I feel like this is going to be unpopular opinion. I'm going to get killed for this, but I know the Vikings have made some color tweaks and some tweaks on like the like the the stripes and whatnot. But for the most part, they've had the same uniform for their entire mm-hmm. existence. So I get like I know that the sleeves are different here, and there used to be a stripe that looked like this. But like I don't. And look the helmet at the, looks different. I can barely. But does it? 
Yeah, the darker pur- the darker purple was so much better. I like that a lot too. The, the look, yeah, go back and go back and look yeah, at the yeah. go back and look at the pictures of Favre in those throwbacks from 2009. Yeah. That look is so much better, I think, than the current. Is it look. that much different though? I think it is. I mean, you you know what? That's fine. If you're not a fashion fashionista like I am, that's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but when you are breaking down the looks, I mean, seriously, the Broncos thing it bothers me to no end. <laughs> just, the Broncos. Sorry, thing really Don. Bothers I'm me. just stewing yeah. about I'm these just, Broncos uniforms. The Broncos. The Broncos. Why do they change it? <laughs> why do you change perfection? Yeah, I feel I like love, a, yeah. a lot of teams just like haven't changed. Their, like the Packers have never changed their uniform, right? The, the Bears. They tried. Oh, well, look, their throwbacks are. Pure oh, they're worthy. awful. But the Packers tried. The Packers about uh, 15 years ago attempted to make a s- significant tweaks, and they were told you're not doing this. Their <laughs> fan base went nuts. Interesting. There it is. Thank you, Declan. I love that look. Yeah, it's a it's a darker purple. Mm-hmm. Look at the helmets darker. I gotta be honest. Is, I think I like the lighter purple better. I'm not gonna no, lie. Okay. This All is right. the uh, day Brett Favre died on TC, or excuse me, was concussed on uh, TCF died. Bank Stadium. He did. No, they had, they brought him back to life. No, he, he was he, he, yeah, he was dead for he 15 was, seconds. You like the current ones more, Phil? I like the I like the lighter purple better. I don't mm-hmm. even know you. I like the uh, I don't know. You. I like the Falcon, and they've some used these a little bit more. Oh, the yeah. Falcon with the with the long yeah. long wing that goes down. I like that one a lot. Those ones are good. Yeah, the Oilers are good. The Eagles, I love the Eagles ones. The, that that lighter green that you used to rock school, in the yes. yes. Yeah. Those ones are good. Kelly Green, yes. Those yep. were way better. I, yeah. I, I agree with you on that, too. Yeah. See, <laughs> you're like me. You have a you have a sense for the color changes. Thank you. That's what I, but I mean, that's, I As pride I wear myself. wear a white V-neck and nothing else Sorry. today. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but you're fashionista. But you're skinny, so you can do that, Dex. Uh, boys, question Bad number three that. here. The NFL will start taking bids to move the combine around starting in 2023. So it's been in Indianapolis for years. And here's the write-up from ESPN.com's uh, – who reported this? I don't know, ESPN.com. The NFL has informed its teams that it will accept bids from cities other than Indianapolis to host its annual scouting combine beginning in 2023. According to the source, all NFL teams will have the opportunity to let the league know whether they have interest in hosting the Combine, as well as upcoming NFL drafts and Super Bowls. The Combine has been held in Indy since 1987. Now, uh, before I ask the question, does Indianapolis pay for the NFL to be there? Or is this the NFL saying, oh, we could get cities to pay us to come for the right. combine, yeah, and I don't know how it works currently. That's a good question. Yeah. I don't, I do not know the answer. So, are you guys excited about the NFL taking the combine out of Indy, or would you rather it just remain centrally located in the middle of the country? Just leave it there. Yeah. Like, I, I get okay, I get why cities would want this because the amount of people who come in, as far as football people and you know the scouts and that, is tremendous and teams. So it, it would. Do really well in your downtown, for instance, as far as hotel rooms go and businesses go. But unless they're going to change it drastically, there is ba- there is essentially no fan involvement. Like it's all closed. It's a it's it's a combine. They're like weighing guys and yeah, doing it's like health a closed ch- football convention, basically. Yeah, right? exactly. So the the I believe the reason why it landed in Indy years ago was because it was centralized, right? Like it's right in the middle of right. the country. So if I'm coming from New York or Los yeah. Angeles, I'm pretty much going to a destination that is equidistant, so to speak. So and there's there's like three main hotels in and around, and it's yeah. You know, good and by enough. the way, it's all connected like us by skyways. Like it, it is the ideal. It, it's the ideal convention city for an event like this. And unless they're planning on like redoing it and having fans involved. Personally, just leave it. It's fine. So I totally disagree. I love the NFL uh, looking for the cash <laughs> grab right. here. I, I think the NFL should look beyond. So they've got the Super Bowl that they bid out. They've got now the draft that they bid out. They finally realize, oh, we've got all these things, these live events. We can just like have cities pay to yep. the combine. I and think they go further. I, I mean, I, I'm thinking Hall of Fame ceremony, Canton, Ohio. I mean, who the hell? Like, It's this yeah. random small town. I'm I'm farming everything. I'm I'm farming out the a live schedule release party, like anything don't, and everything. Don't suggest this. They'll listen. No, go ahead. Get your cash and fill those pockets. Move Roger the draft the back it, to New York and leave it. It there. sounds like the people who are upset about this are the media people who have been to the combine and love the combine and love everything about it. And I I, I hear that. I'm not one of as them. As a distinguished member of the media, like I, I, I get that. But I I mean it it doesn't doesn't keep me up at night. If it wants to be in Minneapolis, it can be in Minneapolis. If it wants to be in Miami, it can be in Miami. I, I really could not if, care. If the combine was in Minneapolis, 
how would it change the lives? That, that's my only counter argument. Like if, if we, it, it would wouldn't. just it's it's a football it's convention. Useless. It would be no different than like any other convention. They you, probably, there, there's no there's not there's no public events. Well, they my my guess is if they start to bid this thing out, there will be like they'll do something, and you'll be able to come see some fat guy lift a weight or something. Who knows? Um, so my guess is that they would change it a little bit, but yes, as of right now, there's no real incentive to it at all. Um, just leave it. Okay. I, like, I just don't care that much. You might be onto this. Are they thinking about opening up multiple days of the combine, like they the might. three cone drill and the 40 yard dash? Are they thinking about opening it up to fans? And if let's say you, so us bank stadium has what, like 75,000 seats in it, right? If they opened up the 40-yard dash and a couple other drills this, for this fans, would, would they fill U.S. Bank no. Stadium? No, not at first. At first God, it would be... You, you said no immediately. I don't know, man. No, I don't think they would. I mean, dude, you're watching guys run straight lines. <laughs> I'm, pe- people NFL. would go. I know, and people would go, but you're asking if they'd fill the stadium up. What do you think? I, I bet they would put 30, 40, 50,000 people in. People would travel... Think about how many hardcore football fans would love to travel. Now, you know, maybe Minneapolis. I don't know. Maybe that's not the best. Would destination the quarterback in drills draw the best? To... The quarterback drills might draw yeah. the best. And then there'd be but certain I... quarterbacks that don't participate and they'd get booed. <laughs> but I got to think if they're going to bid this thing out, that there is a grand plan to actually have it be open to a certain point, which right now, I'm pretty sure, unless it's changed a lot since I covered the team uh, for the Strib, I'm pretty sure it's all closed. It's all closed. Well, the, the drills are all closed. Right. And then they have, like, there's, like, a media, you know, yeah. conference room hallway area yeah. where they, they bring players and coaches and then but, I mean, agents that's not will hold court open. and stuff. It's shown on TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Like, anyway, this is up. not Pack surprising. You're yep. correct. Yeah. At least surprising right, thing. Question number four presented by our friends at Federated Mutual Insurance Company. They're here to protect your business, quite simply. They measure the success of their business by the success of yours. They've been around for over 100 years in the state of Minnesota, Owatonna to be exact. They are one of us, and uh, they're just here as a guiding hand with expertise, resources. Tap into all those things at federatedinsurance.com. And remember, at Federated, it's our business to protect yours. All right. We've made it to question number four here. you gotta, you got to close the fist. Four quarter. Fourth quarter. Four quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth Repeat. quarter. Play for four. Question Fourth quarter. four. Fourth quarter. Yep. <laughs> All right. Would you rather own a time machine or a teleporter? So the okay. difference being time machine, you can travel back <sighs> yeah. and forth between future and past. Teleporter meaning anywhere in the present, you can just go from point A to point B. So like you don't so you, you you want to beat traffic, right? You just so simple. Teleport. Oh, I'm going time machine. I'm going oh. I'm going back in time. I'm going back in time to the 50s. I'm going to go well, see Hank Aaron play. I'm going to see Mickey Mantle play. I'm going to see um uh Jacques Plant play goal. I'm going what? I'm going to go to Minneapolis L- Lakers games and have season tickets and warn people, you better appreciate this great <laughs> franchise or you're going to lose Beware it. Beware the eyes And then I'm going to go back in time more. I'm going to go back in time more, and I'm going to see Babe Ruth play. Are you kidding? Now, I ain't teleporting. I'm going back in time, and I'm staying back in time. Hmm. I, I After super speed, teleportation is my next superpower that I would want. Like, I, I would love to be able to just basically plot myself anywhere in the world right now. It'd be so great if I could just snap my fingers and be where the hell I wanted right, right now. Teleportation all day. I, I lived in the past. I don't need to go back to the past. No, but you didn't live in the past. I'm talking I, about I, I don't, and I don't, live in. I don't care about I'm that. Why? Declan actually, De- Declan I'm going looks, to the 60s and smoke a bunch of drugs. Right. Declan literally in. looks like a guy from the 50s right now. Yeah. Look at his little yeah, curl up like, hair. I don't care like about white. the 50s. Yeah. I do not care. If Declan had a like rolled up pack of smokes in his sleeve right now, he would Absolutely. be from the movie Grease. Yeah. 100%. Yes. yes. No, I, I get I'm, I, I'm a T-bird, but at the same time, no, I, I don't need to go back in the past. I don't like the future. I, I don't want to know what happens in the future. Like I don't want. I don't want to know. I don't want to like transport myself yeah, fifteen I, I, years I'm not from going now. To future. And I don't know how I'm that back. works. So so no teleportation all, right. all day be sweet. I'll break the tie here. I side with Judd. Oh my god. Oh, I thought you side with Declan. Uh uh-uh. uh And I'm and I listen. I, I hear you, Dex. I hate sitting in traffic. I just you know I just uh I'd rather get 
from point A to point B quickly. I, yeah. in, I, I don't even. I, I'm okay with flying, but I don't want to be on a plane for like four hours. You right. know, I just. You know, we went. My wife and I went to Maui a few years ago, and it was like from Minneapolis to Maui. You, you, you know, you. It's a long yeah, plane, but transfer flights in like uh, L.A. It's like eleven hours. Just I, I'd rather snap my fingers and get there. But ultimately, it'd be really fun to go see what other eras are like with full knowledge of what we know in 2021. I wouldn't go to the future. I don't want to know. I yeah, want it to play out. It's gonna play out. But I would. It would be sort of fun to go back to the early 1900s and tell all those people uh, how big of idiots no. they are for not using iPhones. You know. Ugh. So now, I mean, if if you did this, would would you attempt to? Um, in air quotes, invent things. Did oh, we talk about absolutely. This yep. We talked like, about this. this on the internet. Questions. You don't know about this, but you know. Yeah. No, no, this is comp- the this is the Biff Tannen you know, sports almanac situation, right? You just yes. go put some bets on sporting events and build your wealth that way. Yes. Yeah. I like the Yankees doing the World mm. Series again this okay. year. Okay. Yeah, but have fun with your teleporter, Declan. I will. I will. I will be able to go to Hawaii or Italy or. Or Seattle, I can just pop into the Mackey household right now. I can just see that. That'd be the reason why Phil wouldn't want you to have a teleporter. Yeah, well, we won't be here because we'll be in Italy in the seventies. That's right. Okay, great. I have a sweet three bedroom place in Seattle. Awesome. Cool. Four act. Four actually. <laughs> oh, four. Look at that. Sick brag. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a small office. It's really not that. Not that. Small. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyhow. Three and a half, Declan, with a yeah. walk-in closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half bath. Uh, all right, that's a wrap on Four Question Friday here. Uh, thanks to everyone for hanging out with us on a daily basis here. Daily Vikings Entertainment, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.